Hello there and welcome new Company of Heroes players. This is going to be a quick and easy guide on how to get into competitive Company of Heroes. This is one of the best PC game series of all time. The first uh, Company of Heroes game came out in 2006. Fantastic, everyone loved it. 2013, the sequel came out, wasn't quite as good. Uh, it was a bit of a rushed release thanks to a publisher going tits up. Um, but now, in 2020, the developer and the community as well, in synergy and symbiosis, have dragged this game into a glorious real-time strategy game series. Also, modern PC hardware plays it like a dream. It's no longer the buggy mess and it's slated for a 64-bit update. It's going to have a, a new huge patch coming out this very month. This is October 2020. This guide is not going to mess around. We're going to get straight into what to buy and then what else to buy because that's how computer games work these days. You've got a lot of DLC to look at. Where to learn about the game how to play the game, and what to watch. Because uh, one of the best ways to learn, of course, is to watch. Uh, and let's just get straight into it. I mean, one of the best guides is one I wrote. <laughs> of course it is. You're going to learn very quickly. I'm not very modest. But one I wrote about three or four years ago. And to be honest, it's still very relevant. There are very... There's a lot of ways to get into the game. You've got access to multiplayer methods. Firstly, you can buy the base game. That gives you access to Soviets and Wehrmacht. The two... Um, standard traditional factions with the largest combined arms. I'm talking about, you know, machine guns, mortars, and a lot of utility like tank destroyers, etc. They have it all, quite frankly. Um, you can also get the Western Front armies. Basically, the game starts on the Eastern Front in Russia back when it was first released, and then they released uh, the United States forces and, of course, uh, OKV, or OKW. That's the Black Cross. Um, they're meant to represent late war Germany. So you've got those two, and then the f the other method is the British forces. We're not going to talk about uh, the campaign, uh, casual content as I call it in this uh, guide, although if you're going to play the campaign, I would urge you to play Ardennes Assault, because the first campaign, it's okay, but it's a little bit, uh, the story's a little bit weird. I would go for Ardennes Assault, which is a bit more Total War-esque. I'd get straight into that. Now then, so... You want to think, which army do you want to play with? I'm going to tell you what army to play with. Play with the Soviets. The reason being, Company Heroes is all about keeping your stuff alive. And the Soviets, it, it's easier to do with the Soviets, quite frankly. So, uh, this is the Soviet um, forces here. And, sh sh we're not going to load into a live game right now, but we are going to play the AI. One of the best ways to start playing the game is see if you can beat the bloody easy AI. Just go straight in. And uh, start tinkering with the mechanics of this fantastic series. You're going to be overwhelmed with the amount of mechanical options available to you. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> I have not forgotten that I did originally say we would go through this in order. But I'm telling you to get the base game. I'm not saying mess around with uh, the Western Front armies or Brits quite yet. Just get Soviets and Wehrmacht. This guy does not give you choice. It just tells you what to do. And that's why it's a quick and easy guide. We're not messing around here. Right, so you're the Soviets. Fantastic. Why am I telling you to play, to lay them first? It's because their economy works in a more uh, forgiving fashion. You can lose more individual soldiers and still be competitive with the Soviets. Now, Company of Heroes is unique in RTS. It's not about just going to go get uh, Tiberium or minerals or whatever. It's about controlling the map. The map is split up into sectors and you want to control the map. So the resource system is... Uh, we'll start with the most obvious ones. You've got... This will be familiar to you. Fuel and munitions. Now, fuel allows you to buy the big units like tanks. You can see that at the bottom there of the uh, this armoured assault tank. We won't get into commanders quite yet. But tanks are, of course, very powerful. But Company Heroes is originally based on kind of Band of Brothers, if you remember that HBO series from the early 2000s. It's all about the, the life of individual soldiers in a fraternity fighting together. And that is why you have this resource here, which is manpower. Manpower is your ability to field units. Now, what happens when individual squad members die? Let's just kill a few of them. I'm in a mode that my friend created here. This is like the... Um... So we'll kill a few of these guys. 
Uh, my friend Jan created this mode called Cheat Mods. I urge you to ch check it out. We're going to get onto that later on on the Steam Hub. But when you retreat your squads back to base, which will happen very, very soon indeed, you will, you're will you going to reinforce them. And that's because the price of an individual squad, 240 manpower, don't worry, this segment of the tutorial is almost over, 240 manpower is a lot more expensive than the cost of reinforcement, which is 20. So you can immediately see how you want to keep the overall squad alive and um, you're okay to lose individual soldiers. Soviets have, um, pound for pound, the cheapest to reinforce squads. Therefore, it is the most, it's the easiest faction to play with in a competitive, because you find yourself, you're not drowning. You've, you're given like a life preserver or um, rubber armbands as they're called in the UK. Uh, and it just allows you to be more competitive. So the next big uh, mechanic, I'm only going to tell you about two main mechanics. The next big main mechanic you're going to want to think about is cover. Just like games like XCOM and, and to be honest, first person shooter games, this game series is based on a heavily modified Unreal Engine called the Essence Engine. And it's basically like first person shooter but uh, for RTS. So you notice that these guys have MP40s, not very good uh, long range weapons, so my Mosin Nagants of my conscripts completely outclassed them. It was not even close, quite frankly. But look, the AI does not use cover. I am using cover. Pro game move, right? But um, basically, you see the shield here? That means that my received accuracy is uh, it, it's absolutely dominating my opponent. I've only just now lost one soldier. My AI opponent is lose, losing left, right, and center. First thing to do here is go behind cover. See that there? That's heavy cover. You've got light, which is yellow, and heavy, which is green. Now I'm going to have not only less received accuracy, I'm going to have less received damage as well. And I'm going to absolutely mop up the AI because I'm a pro gamer doing pro game moves. Anyway, we are going to keep in with the guide as I specified it. So, what to buy? Base game. Easy. Base game. What to buy? Well, there is DLC. Okay, there is DLC. And to be honest, the base game now you can get for as little as probably like 20 cents. So, it's no longer a case of it's a little bit immoral that the base game's so expensive. Wow, wow, wow. I was part of that huge crying audience when this game first came out. <laughs> you can see, by the way, I have uh, deleted... The, this is an advanced guide tip. I'll just... I'll drop it in there. I've deleted the flag videos to make the game quicker to run. There's flags usually behind the menu. <laughs> but I've, there's, there's a lot of advanced tips. We're not going to get into them. We're going to keep with what to buy. Commanders is the answer. So you got the Soviets. You want to think about getting some commanders that make you really competitive. And why not just... Think about the ones I'm using here. This is a premium commander, Armoured Assault Tactics. Gives you access to not only radio intercepts, so you get a little bit of information about what your opponent's building. You can imagine how useful that is. But two types of, um, of tank uh, that you can then build. Uh, the, the IS-2 is a heavy tank and the T-3485 is a much upgraded version with a, much, uh, with a bigger turret, more health, better penetration, better armour than the stock T-3476 you get in the base tree. And... Um, You've also got Airborne Troop Tactics, fantastic commander. And then this one here, Guard Rifle Combined Arms Tactics, I actually believe is uh, part of the base tree. So the base commanders, they are pretty useful. You do get some really good ones. But to be honest, you're going to want to think about getting some of these very competitive uh, commanders. Best way to find out about what commanders to truly buy, by the way, is where to learn. And um, yes, you can just... You know, buy some of the ones that look good. But you want to play meta, don't you? Uh, you know, we're, we're all here because we want to play this game loads of years in. Yes, there is a, some amazing content. There's, you just go to the modding hub and you can see that um, some of the fantastic things that people have been making over the years. If you're a casual dude, you want to have a few drinks on a Friday night after your busy week at work, there ain't no problem with that. But, um, you know... Uh, where to learn is all about watching live Twitch feeds. Unfortunately, the Twitch uh, reader in the game is broken these days, but you can go over to websites such as um, 
There's this one, which is the Reddit. Now, this is great for guide content. I'll get onto that in a second. But co2.org is basically... Ignore the forums. Nobody goes on forums anymore. Forums are a dead media. Except for the guides. We'll get onto the guides later. This is a wealth of historic guide creation. That is on. It's, it's absolutely awesome. But forums are dead media. Don't worry about that. co2.org is this box here. Your live stream list. Now, you can see that, um, you see what time of the morning it is. I'm actually doing this instead of exam study. This is 9 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. And uh, the only streamers available to us right now are Tightrope, one of the best people to learn from in the community. This guy makes guides as well. One of those guides is actually part of this uh, resource list here. Sorry, let me scroll so above my face so you can actually see it. We're looking at this right section on Reddit, which has been carefully um, engineered over the years to give you the the most useful things on the internet. Uh, micro tips and tricks by Tightrope. You've also got famous players such as Helping Hands, which make uh, tips and tricks videos. But watching people play and seeing the commanders they learn in competitive is the best way to decide what DLC to buy. Don't buy anything until you've seen what the pros are using because what will happen to you is you'll buy these commanders for three dollars whatever they cost then somebody else will use something that rips your commander apart yes you might have some really ridiculous artillery ability that's easy to use but the better you get which will come later then you'll be thinking why on earth was i spending my money on this you want to find out what the top players are using because it is relevant to you and it will become relevant to you very quickly. Very quickly indeed. So, as I'm saying, go on code2.org. Obviously, Prime EU Times, this will be full of streamers. Um, and learn. What else? Tournaments. I'm a tournament organiser and I'm currently organising uh, this community's first proper attempt at kind of like community consistent esports yes we have done major tournaments in the past like i'm talking we've got 10 years of major tournament organization spanning a huge history of wealth and pageantry but recently we have started doing like a, a community fund yes we pay for it ourselves but we're having major tournaments with a lot of variation and excitement uh, every two months and it's really cool and of course i'm gonna tout that um, that is my baby, so that's what I'm talking about. We've also got Sega are using mar uh, their marketing dollar, seeing how good the competitive scene is in Company Heroes. They're putting down a $20,000 prize pool just uh, this coming uh, November, uh, which is really exciting. So uh, you have that to look forward to. In the meantime, next weekend, uh, I'm sure this guide will be watched in the years to come, but there will be tournaments in the years to come. So if you're watching this in 2021 or whenever, just trust me, there's so many great tournaments to watch. So make sure you support and watch them and you'll be able to see the best players using the best commanders. And that comes back to my point. Where to learn and what to buy are pretty much the same thing. Learn by watching the best and then buy the commanders that they use because you don't want to waste your money. Now, how to play. I've already jumped the gun and started to cover that, haven't I? But... There's a lot more into this game. This game's tactics and strategy are literally... Um, there. A lot of it's undocumented knowledge. You just have to start playing and have to start watching. And then watching your own replays back. You go into watching a, your own replay and you analyse what you did uh, incorrectly. And um, there's so many great tenants of um, how to be a good player. And a lot of it is covered in a lot of these guides. I mean... I mean, let's take these guides at face value. You've got the official beginner's guides, Steam, Steam guides, Kotu.org guides, etc. And then more advanced tips and tricks, which can come on. But um, there's, there's a lot here that will allow you to learn what to do and how to play. There's a lot on Steam as well. And then Kotu.org, which I did allude to earlier, is just fantastic. This will also give you the stats. A lot of the stats are hidden in this game. Um, this will also give you... Uh, them, which it is, to be honest, fantastic. I mean, the abilities, there's so many abilities, and that's why it's such a nerd boner getting into this game. You will become uh, absolutely spoilt for choice intellectually. There's so much to think about at any one time. It's almost overwhelming, but there's always excitement to be had. 
And um, let, let's let's bite the bullet. Let's turn this into AE will now play. And don't forget, I'm a very rusty tournament organizer. But I will now live commentate me playing this game. And what this is going to teach you, hopefully, this is going to teach you to have no fear. Do not fear this game. Let's take off... Um, Put it onto game capture by taking off the monitor. There we go. So this is now on the game. So I'll get the maximum frames per second. We're going to minimize my face. And, and I'm going to teach you to not fear the game. You want to play it. I'm doing this on a live audience of one take. If I make an ass of myself now, I'm going to lose all of the passionate rhetoric I've delivered. This one take YouTube video will be an absolute abomination. I should now feel the fear. But I know not to, because if I follow the mechanics of the game, re retreat my units, stick behind cover, make sound teching decisions, think about what my opponent's doing, and respect them at all times. These kind of things will lead you to success. So, this is my thought process is every step of the way, right? The map we're on is Crossroads Winter, which is all about trying to get your cutoff and keep it and keep fuel. Only when you have successfully defended your own fuel can you then go on to take away your opponents. It's a very fuel-centric map. Some maps are a little bit more victory point focused. Uh, well, it always comes down to victory points. I didn't even consider talking about that, did I? I just went on about like the big do's and don'ts. But, of course, uh, victory point control is the main uh, focus of the title. Uh, let me. I actually use an auto hotkey script. There's an auto guide um, for that on the subreddit. Or well, the auto hotkey script for me allows me uh, camera movement using spacebar. I've rebound that to middle mouse and a bunch of other stuff. Um, it's because I've been playing this game for like a decade or plus. So I have a lot of um, things I wanted to. You can see I'm trying to do everything as quickly as possible. The capture points. I'm going on the edge of the capture points to ensure that. Um, always say good luck, have fun. Always keep your respect. This game does involve random number generation, just like XCOM. So a lot of the um, the the um, the bullets that will hit your unit square in the face have are on a predetermined uh, flight path based on a, a number ge that's been generated. And of course, all the, the tanks have stuff like armor profiles, meaning that a, a, a shell can either penetrate or bounce, etc. So there's a lot of that in the game. Where's this? Um... Now this is the tactical map here. This is very important. You see that? That is numpad zero. And that's one of the reasons I use a script to rebound my um, oh, can't talk too much. I just floated manpower. I didn't utilize all of my manpower as quickly as possible. That's MP40 Pioneers. I can stick in that fight. This guy's got an MG out there. I'm gonna s I could have evaded that. But um, oh, I still can, actually. I'm going to try and move away from that. Whilst just going straight for the flank. Using the Conscript's Oorah ability to get around the back of the MG there. I'm just going to stand and fight here. I could have gone into cover, but it's fine. Stand and fight. Just keep advancing. These guys are now ready. Hit a halt order there to go stationary. You get better accuracy when you're stationary. Now bully away the MG. There's two of them. I can't do that, so I'm going to have to back away with one squad. I lost that fight up there, so now I retreat with one man remaining, keeping the squad alive. Meanwhile, I want four conscripts in total. I'm going to use the mini-map to issue a shift command uh, capping order there. I've gotten, I've maintained fuel control. Now it's time to use another Ura order. I'm wasting munitions on these, but it's the way I decide to play. I'm all about trying to get more um, time because I'm a little bit inefficient as a player. So I'm using Ura's, which are 15 munitions a pop, as a way to cheat the uh, the gods of time a little bit there. It will delay my first flamethrower on my combat engineers. But it's fine. I'm actually going to stand and fight here because I'm behind heavy cover, so the suppression will be delayed. Now, this is a good fight for me. I'm behind light cover, and this grenadier is not in cover, so that should be fine. Meanwhile, I'm going to jump into a garrison there. That's my name for a building. That'll give me superior sight lines. Watch how the sight lines will become larger. There you go. I can see the MGs there behind cover. 
I've been fighting against that MG and not exactly losing. He's joined by a friend right now. He's going to push up to me with the MP40. He's meaning I'm going to retreat, giving me better angle. Similar there. Get healing in base, which is... I know my hotkeys, so that should be fine. And the re one of the reasons I shouldn't be... Um, right, these guys, I do need to split them up. If I can remember correct... Ah, here we go. I'm going to roar again. I do not want to lose this cutoff, even for a second. Cutoff, sorry. If I lose this territory sector, I lose my fuel. They're all interconnected like an interwoven jigsaw puzzle. MG's up there, so let's flank this way. Yep, that's good. Get these guys healed. Oh, he saw me. I can't get around that, I don't think. I'm going to have to retreat back to base. I didn't think the MG was facing that angle. Okay, I've suffered enough punishment there, but I've kept my fuel all this time. Now, let's go for a flank. He's looking to get close to me, those MP40s again. So I'm going to back away and keep him out of vision, aren't I? going to back away, keep him out of, um, sorry, range. So look at this now. I'm going to hit a halt order. I'm going to take advantage of that closing distance. He did make it to heavy cover, that green cover I was talking about. But uh, it doesn't matter. Absolutely does not matter. Now, you've got to consider I may end up losing this. And the reason I'm going to blame it is, of course, talking to you guys. But I'm trying to teach you that you should not fear... Yes, there will be a lot to learn. You will learn it in time. There's a lot to take in. But if I can... Stay behind heavy cover there. He's going to set up. Get outside the cone of that MG is what I want to do. Make sure behind heavy cover here. He's coming from there. There we go. Now he's going to try and do a rifle grenade now, most likely. So I'm going to back away from that. That was a good flank there. He tried to flip on me, but he couldn't get it off. Meaning I've still maintained fuel control. Now I'm going to sandwich his grenadiers between a rock and a hole. I wasn't using it over there. That's not good. Now, because he's been... He should be a bit demoralized by this. He's not gotten my fuel for a second. He has had a lot of victory point control. Though. In fact, he's got a triple cap on victory point. There's his... I'm going to try and get away from that. Alright, I need to concentrate, but I will maintain comms at all time. Z this double MG start from him has been very punishing for me. I've only gotten a few flanks off, and they've not been authoritative enough. Um, that's why spamming Uro has been a bit of a penalty for me. It's okay, I've got the T70 to come. T70 is the scalpel tool of the Soviets. You build your army around the light tank. The light tank is your damage dealer. I'm going to keep this guy in the house. I've not really got a choice in that one. Just got to try and uh, hold him off here for a little while. Buy time to keep my cut off for longer. I've got a lot of stuff to build. I'm going to drop a Dushka heavy machine gun as well. That's a good retreat path for me. He's going the right way, which will keep him alive. Going to keep deep defense here. Going to try and get him in position. Focus fire the weak squad. Really could have done with uh, hacking this. Where's my energy? There is. I thought it had gone off map somehow. Right, he's gone for my squad that was outside of cover. Focus this grenadier. I just issued an attack move command with the MG, meaning I don't have to worry about when he gets there. Attack move is very powerful for that reason. Okay, so my timing isn't terrible. Ooh, that's a bad one. That's a rifle grenade from the Grenadiers. They have a, an audio cue you can hear, but I didn't hear it there. I was too busy in base. I didn't actually issue an attack move command. I said I did, but apparently I didn't. Right, okay, so he's beginning to get on top of me now. If I hadn't messed up with my misclick there, it will be a misclick. The game doesn't 
Unlike some streamers will like scream, oh, the game, you know, messed up my command. It is, to be honest, it's mostly just you. And you just need to learn when you've misclicked and when you haven't. So there'll be a, a time on the video that if you backpedal, you'll be able to see what I did wrong. There's my machine gun I dropped from the sky. I could have built one from here, but I prefer the one that this commander gives me. We're low on victory points right now, but don't worry. Have faith. Have faith. And uh, we will be rewarded. Keep capping. We've got that up now. Okay. In terms of fuel, I'm 30 away from the light tank. Isn't great. No, it's uh, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. We'll be okay. It's against that guy. Do you hear? I heard that. I was double grenade. He double grenaded me. It's pretty tasty stuff. There's my fuel income again. Try and back paddle from that guy. I just got a squad wipe. We have an isolated sector. Good, good, good. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Must be getting close to that T seventy now, which will be the saving grace of my army. He's lost a squad. I haven't lost a squad yet. Remember me telling you about the uh, squads? I'm trying to play a little bit harder now. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Do need to overwhelming whelm him if I can. Stay out of range of the... Yep, he's backing off anyway. Now I can finally get that long desired flamethrower. If I was up against a better player, I would definitely get a minesweeper in this scenario, but... I think he spent his munitions on upgrades. Um, you have a choice if... There's mines that can take out a T-70 tank in one hit. They're very powerful. If I remember, the MG's somewhere here. Is he? I swear he was. I'm going to assume that he's repositioned. There he is. Got him before the suppression got me. They will have to drag us out of this territory. Oh, capturing light tank, only 200 points remain. Double your efforts. All right, light tank is out. It's the T 70, of course. And uh, as, as I was saying, this is my ace call. I'm expecting him to go straight for. I'm gonna go up against this MG straight into the MG. He does have veterancy one, which is a uh, like an anti-armor round. There he is, he's going straight in with it. That's unexpected. Try and take out his truck next. I just saw he had a truck. Is an it should be more active in my units, but this is why I'm double capping does not speed up capping, by the way. That's just miss micro by me. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. Gonna drop another MG now. Heavy machine gun team on the field. My choice is to either spend it, spend my uh, munitions on MGs or machine guns, and I choose machine guns because uh, I've got the T70 out now. Sorry, I can <laughs> MGs. I can get better rifles, airdropped weapons for my conscripts, which will give them better as my AT gun. I always put my AT on a control group. Control groups are very useful in this game, but I'm no master, so I don't use them as well as I could do. Um, I'm gonna stop. So I'm just gonna soak up these Fausts. Fausts will damage my engine, but it's absolutely fine. The reason being is um, I get a better stationary accuracy, and there's no threat. See that? That was game knowledge there. I knew that uh, there was no real threat to the damaged engine. A lot of players would uh, pussy out of the situation. And I need to go stationary. Um, 
So we're starting to dominate him with superior game knowledge. Yes, he did have a good start. Yes, I was trying to talk too much and not think about what I was doing. But um, still, it worked out okay, didn't it? Let's get another combat engineer because my combat engineer is becoming a little bit overtasked now. And uh, I could do with this T-70 being straight back into action, to be honest. This AT gun, I'm going to use it to cap because there's no tanks on the field yet. I bought the... Uh, the AT gun to counter, um, to counter what could happen against my my tank. My light tank would be countered by his medium Panzer IV. So I bought the Zis gun, the AT gun, to counter the counter that counters my thing. If that makes there it is. There's the thing that counters my thing. Sounds like he's coming towards this mine here, which could be very useful indeed. But I'm a little bit wary, of course, that the T-70 is exposed right now. So I'm going to get anti-tank grenades as well. Just to double up on the efforts. Here he comes. Should hopefully go over the mine. Just reposition the AT gun in preparation. We roar into that building. Alright, there we go. There we go, went over the mine, so I'm going to have him here. This is perfect for showing you the mechanics of the game. It's worked out beautifully. He fell into my trap, quite frankly. And I just 18 aided him with the, the counter. Lost the conscript, though. Got him, and the conscript survived. No, he killed him, fair enough. But it was a big win for a... Uh, now I can take the T-70 over unmitigated. And that is how you play Company Heroes, quite frankly. I'm very proud of that. That is under pressure of knowing I'm doing a tutorial. And uh, it's a good win. Go straight for this here. He's going for some crazy strategy where he gets over blitz trucks, but not sure about that. And he's losing left, right, and centre. Out muscling him now. He's shitting the bed, quite frankly. I'm gonna back away from this house. I'm not sure. He's had these trucks that give him more fuel per second if he parks them. Like it's a logistics truck. Oh, he was just going for that, was he? Oh. Give him a lot. I should have prioritised keeping that, actually. My bad. Getting too cocky. Do not want to get complacent at this point. not want to get complacent, so just need to keep up the pressure. And I don't believe taking the T-70 in the base at this point is getting complacent. I'm trying to polish off that ground here if I can. Killed him. Good, there we go. I'd used an attack ground command there. There's, uh, as I've talked about attack moves, haven't I? But that was an attack ground. He's low health, just want to reposition him. These guys are good to go. Well, now let's take this T-70, which now has veteran C2, giving it better um, main gun accuracy and rate of fire. So its DPS is much improved. Let's take the whole assembly over here. Uh, that guy to there. Um, put stop putting mines down. There we go. So mines down, and this, this to be honest, there's so much to learn here. This is a tutorial, but this is just getting you. As I say, it's motive, hopefully motivational. That if I can just jump straight into auto match and use learned knowledge and strategies and tactics, that you have to accumulate the hard way through actually doing the putting the effort in, if you know what I mean. Um, and I don't mean to sound the right, you know, that's not a negative thing. That's good. You want a game where you have, if you put the work in, it gives you rewards. And uh, Company Heroes is not random luck. It's very much all about the knowledge. Rifle Nade will come over here. It's a very obvious move from him. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Certainly. Just park this again here. Get that 18 gun in position. It's Fausting me. It's absolutely fine. Getting squad wipes. I 
do want to back away now though because he has a, he has a little bit more. He should have a. Should, quite frankly, if he doesn't have a, uh, put some mines down here. So. Mines win games is the common adage. In uh, so what we do here is we flank. See the cone of fire. Flank it. I'm actually going to prioritise building this tier four now over repairing my tank. I'm going to cancel these mines because I might need access to. Uh... There we go, that's the cancel one. Might need access. Attack round through this side blocker. This guy doesn't think he can shoot him, but he can, so you have to tell him he can through this bush. Just give him the confidence, like hopefully I'm giving you guys the confidence to just jump straight into the game, beat the CPU firstly, and then get straight into auto match. Um, but yeah, let's concentrate on getting some tanks out now. I've floated enough resources. I definitely have done that, which is not how you want to play. See, I've got a thousand manpower. That's not how you want to play, guys. You want to make sure that your economy is tight. And there you go. Let's get some, not them. Let's get some T-34s out next. And I can hopefully build a couple of them. Now, oh, this is an, a horrendous ability. <laughs> Apparently the... Oh, here we go. Get behind cover. Oh! I missed my crud up. Fortunately, I did not pay the price. Oh, I haven't repaired this. I'm getting complacent, guys. I'm going to run away from this because he's got too much heat for me. Uh, okay, you guys flank that. Should be fine. Go there. Good, good. Could have built some airborne guard. In fact, still Commander abilities are pretty powerful. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a commander ability to build like, infiltration guards, you can say. I don't know what this is, but I want to get out of there. Okay, he's going to Luftwaffe or something. I don't know what. No, it's um, it's the one of the stock commander abilities. Commanders of Wehrmacht is the one with the open blitz. I think it has Tiger in the late game. See the Tiger? Yeah. Vest under armor support. They're all giving these dodgy moves. Yes. Now, it may be good to build an uh, anti air facility. He's going to keep strafing me, that is, but shouldn't keep doing it. Should be fine. Still haven't repaired that T 70. I've just lost an infantry squad. I'm starting to get complacent here. Can't afford to do it. Cannot afford to do it. Get another. Um, My dog's barking, which is always good for a guy. I could have finished this guy off sooner. It would have made the guy more authoritative, wouldn't it? Right. So let's um, let's recrew this AT gun. Attack over there. I've gotten complacent, guys. It's very tiring, as you can imagine, to do this kind of content. Um, get another anti tank gun out. Right, he's really starting to pick up the, the pace now on his technology. Right, he couldn't repair in time. That's really good for me. So let's go forward. Oh, that was a good hit by him. We need to get out of there. Right, let's put some mines down. Always be mining. And yes, there we go. Don't get complacent and come here. So if you see my victory point situation, it isn't actually that good. Yes, I may have gotten material advantages over my opponent, but I actually need to concentrate. And I'm sure you're invested in seeing me win this or laugh, and it'll be when I lose. But uh, either way, it should be... I've gotten two. I've gotten two um, AT guns, so I'm going to keep with T-34-76s and make this a medium armor confrontation. 
Uh, I think that should be fine. T70 over to this side, where the AT guns are. And I'll keep the T34s on the right hand side. And I'll take these guys into the center. Going for this now, so I'm going to go for that too. Have enough collateral to push forward, take his cut off, of course. Should have done that a while ago, actually. Where's that second AT gun? Let's use the tap map to figure out. There it is. That was my uh, engineers I kept in combat for too long. I've got a tank heavy army, so I do need two engineers at all times, really. I'm just trying to get him to come into the fight here. Engineers ready for assignment. Oh, I could have gotten away without uh, losing anything there. We are suffering vehicle losses. I don't know why he's just shooting there. Oh, that yes, I got a bounce there. That's a bit of luck. take it though. We'll take it because we need it. Oh, okay, right, fair enough. The enemy has destroyed one of our vehicles. Do need to push forward though, the T-70's in danger. Ah, oh, he's gonna die. Good battle though, but he's spent all of his forces now and I've got a lot left in the bag. Um, I've got a lot left in the bag as well. And I had a lot of idle units there so you can easily see how oh, that could have been a a win. Another vehicle has been lost in the defense of the Rodina. Yes, comrade. But my calmness under pressure, I kind of kept it even. Um, could have been a lot better, however. Must it could have been? Must be said. Let's start upgrading my conscripts. We are going to keep the teeth. I could eat, at this point go for a tank destroyer, but I, I want to maintain what I'm doing. To be honest, it's fine. I'm going to keep these as a pair. AT guns, if you're using more of them, it's actually better to use them as a pair. Um, authority in my guide is rapidly pushing. Right. Oh, T-34 out. Good, good, good. Kill there, but it just hit a bit of wreckage, unfortunately. Might just go finish him off. In fact, yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go finish him off with the tank, give him some of his own medicine back. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Oh, that's unlucky. Do you know how I, we were talking about the random numbers involved? Unfortunately, we got a little bit of that just now. It's always good to, to see if you get a bad roll, back out of the situation immediately. Um, that is unfortunately slightly the kind of territory of yours. Oh, this is good. This is um He's falling into a trap here. Very, very foolish of him. Just wasted manpower, he got angry. Uh, okay, so 
Ah, good. I'm gonna try and flank this machine gun, go around the side. A lot of DPS from my infantry here. I've still got two pumps. Deep. Well, not for longer. There's no point there because you just repair the damage anyway. I just wasted munitions, quite frankly. Unfortunately. Put him there because my opponent knows where he is now. And yes, I might think about getting a, an, a tank destroyer. I'm not sure yet. I'll just keep with the T-34s, maybe. He does have the option of a Tiger, though, later on. And I'm not so sure I've kept his fuel for long enough. But uh, where's my bloody... Oh, I lost that combat engineer. I really could have done with keeping him alive. Um... I want to get the healing on that AT gun from base. The actual um, guys on the AT gun aren't as healthy as I want them to be. Oh, there's another one of those Opal Blitz trucks. Getting so much fuel has... Honestly, he's been dominating on the fuel front. Right, I can hear the tanks coming. I know that I need the combat engineer in base. I know I need another one of them anyway. Split your units up, less DMG will mess you up. Okay, he's got a situation evolving there. Combat engineers are standing by. Right, yeah, got rid away from him. You see hear how I you see how I heard the engine noise in what's called the fog of war. I couldn't see it but I could hear it. That's the situation there. Oh, that was bad by me. I messed up there. Got the tank though! I've lost an AT gun for a tank here. This is good. This is very good. Maybe he won't see it, however. Try and uh, use that ability on it. Try to add some maelstrom to the madness here. That's the straight. It doesn't affect my tanks. And importantly, doesn't affect my uh, anti-tank guns. It just affects my infantry. So what we're going to do... We're going to go for it. We're going to go in. We're not, he's not built any AT guns, this guy, which is a really bad idea by him. Protect that AT gun we built. Very vital units, AT guns. And we're going to go in and try and get another squad wipe here. We might as well. Just try and focus on one of those grenadiers. They're very valuable squads. That'll do, that'll do. We're not going to get anything. Might as well back away. Come back over here. I think I'm building another T-34 to get on a positive armada of the things. Getting them that way. Uh, a bit dizzyifying my control of the camera at times, I will admit. Get these guys repaired. Now I'm firmly in the driving seat. He's made some dodgy decisions. Uh, I've got enough. The enemy is reduced to 200 points. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Straight over there with this guy. Keep my uh, position, etc. And I know I went a little bit quiet, thus. third of three T-34s now. I know I'm spamming them. We call it spam when your unit variety isn't very uh, diverse. But uh, it is what it is. There's my, he's he's going to be thinking... He must be thinking Tiger now. But regardless... It doesn't really matter. I've got 
pattern. I've got enough T-34s now that even if he does go tight, there it is. I'm not particularly bothered, to be honest. If you remember, I've got those two AT guns, one of which just needs to go into the base, admittedly. And yes, my, uh, we can't penetrate him through the front, but my, uh, my economy should be so much that I can soundly beat him, even if he has a tiger. So we need to get the AT guns back to health, of course. Where's that vetted one? He's very important. Get him back to health. Um, and then, yes, we may think we've got this Sturmovic rocket run, which is an anti-tank ability. So what you do is you damage the tiger, then you ram it with a T-34, and then you uh, you kill it, quite frankly. It's as easy as that. You have to make sure that the arrows, the chevrons of the uh, ability, are pointed in the right direction. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Tiger's repositioning over here. Over there. Right, two T-34s. Really healthy ones as well. Sorry, two... Um, what am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm chatting absolute rubbish. Can't afford to lose too much of this stuff, though. Yes, AT guns, that's what I'm talking about. Those guys need to be control group 2. Make sure they're both on prioritized vehicle mode. And this is where I'm around. Should have enough to finish the job here. to get around the back of him and I'd take him out with the AT guns. Easy as that. May even be able to keep my uh, guys alive here. There he is. Need to get this guy over here. So I'm going to go on a, an active defence. I'm going to scout ahead of him. going to get AT guns in position because I think he may have enough. Take that off prioritised vehicle mode. So actually, uh, need to repair him now because he's got a very damaged engine. Gonna keep him stationary, as shown earlier. Take this squad over there. And that's game. There's no way he can win this now. But yeah, there's no need to fear this game, there's no need to fear Axis heavy tanks or anything like that. It's all about the knowledge and learning and applying said knowledge in a calm manner, knowing and having the confidence to say, what I have learned should beat my opponent. If my execution is bad, that's my fault. It's not the game's fault, etc. And uh, we'll get a Katusha just to sound finish the game off. And he's surrendered already. There we go. Uh, that is hopefully... He said GG. Um, hopefully shows you that you should have the confidence to play this game. Learn... Buy, no, buy this game learn about this game and play this game in that order uh thank you very very much for watching please subscribe to this youtube channel and go and check out the recent tournaments and playlists which is always good and go and obviously uh find all the resources this community has to offer you because they are plentiful and quite frankly there's so much depth it's awesome big shout out to the communities as well there's a lot of great communities on discord um that you can find and links and there's a lot of great friends you can make along the way so hopefully see you on the battlefield see you in the twitch streams and um in the youtube comments as well big sh give us a shout out if you've enjoyed this content and what you've taken from it and ask feel free to ask any questions also thank you very very much and goodbye